everyone. Happy Friday, July 2nd here with your day trading recap. A uh, nice way to end the week, plus 766 on the day. Every day this week was a green one. Uh, so let's go over the trades for today, and then I'll come back and recap the week. Starting with our mighty 90s, two trades, one in Apple for plus 530, one in Piton for minus 420. Uh, no pairs trades today. And then on the runners, uh, Airbnb, basically a scratch, minus 10. Boeing, plus 875. Facebook, plus 340. Piton, 210. Roblox, plus 391. And then Tesla, my uh, big loser of the day, minus 1150. So let's take a look at these, and I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the mighty 90s. Uh, first one was Apple. So in Apple, Apple had this a nice, uh, nice push to start the morning. Uh, got a little spike in volume right here. Got short and kind of chopped around for a little bit and then finally flushed down. And I just closed it out there for a nice $530 winner. Uh, Piton. Piton, I did a Mighty 90 and then also a runner. So the, the Mighty 90 was a loser. Had this nice flush, uh, escalating volume. Got long right here. Uh, started to bounce. By the time I got out, I ended up taking a loss on that. But then I turned around and got short. Uh, for downside runner and caught this down move. So winner on the runner, loser on the mighty 90. And then on to the runners, uh, the other runners, Airbnb. Um, Airbnb was a scratch. Uh, basically, let's see, what did I do? Oh, yeah. So Airbnb uh, bounced up to unchanged. I got short right here. Started to roll over. I got out of some. But then it never gave us much follow through and finally pushed up and I got out of it right here for about a scratch. Uh, Boeing was a nice winner for plus 875, my best winner of the day. And this was my first trade of the day. I uh, had this nice flush, massive volume uh, thing bounced. I got, I got short right in here. I think I got short here and then I maybe added a little bit here. I can't remember exactly, but um, and then it, this thing just flushed. And I got out of uh, right at the bottom. I got out of my last piece. A nice $875 winner there. Facebook. Another runner here. Uh, Facebook started off a little bit weak, but then made a big push through the highs of the day. So when it pulled back to unchanged, got long right here and caught this bounce. Plus 340. Uh, I already mentioned Piton. And then Roblox was another winner for plus 391. Uh, Roblox had this, uh, had this weakness here. Uh, bounced and I got short right here. Took a little bit of heat and it finally rolled over. Uh, bounced back up. I think I added back in, took some off, and then it just kind of chopped around. And so eventually, when it pushed up, I got out of my last piece, but still booked a uh, $391 winner there. And then Tesla, my, my one big loser, uh, Tesla had this initial push in the morning. Uh, big volume when it pulled back. I was looking for a continuation higher and didn't happen. Just kind of kept going down. So ended up cutting out and taking that loss in Tesla. So plus 766 overall on the day. Let me bring my sheet back here. I'll recap the week. So in the mighty 90s, uh, booked a little over 1100 on 10 trades. Not a great, not a great win rate for mighty 90s, just 50 50. But as you can see, I kept uh, a lot of these losses really small, 45, 42, 24. Uh, and so overall, a uh, nice profit in the mighty 90s. Took two pairs trades for plus 373.50. And then a uh, nice, nice week on the runners, nice 76% uh, win rate, almost $5,000 in profit on the runners. So total profit for the week, uh, over 6,500. So one of my best weeks of the year. Had one back in May of 7,600. Uh, April had a $5,600 week. Uh, February of 5,400. So yeah, my second best week of the year, plus 6,500 on the week. So, and every, every day this week was green. Monday, 708. Tuesday, 491. Wednesday, 2,100. Thursday, 2,400. And then today, 766. So on a little five-day win streak. Uh, and so that puts us at a uh, total... Um, total profits for the year to date, a little over 52,000. And then on the total, since we've been tracking since the end of August, uh, a little over 81,000. So good stuff. Keeping it going. Don't forget, uh, market is closed on Monday in observance of Independence Day, but we'll be streaming 
every other day next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look forward to seeing you in the live stream room. Talk to you then.